Hey guys, Chris, no Boomer, here live in the Dream Giveaway Garage. Where's Boomer? Well, haven't you guys been watching? He's on his way to Gainesville with the Hellcat to hook up with Don Garlitz and Leah Pruitt. They're going to have a great weekend there at the Gator Nationals in Gainesville, Florida. Coming down to the last few weeks for, to get your entries to win the 1,000 horsepower Dodge Charger Hellcat widebody. A whole lot of words going on there, but it's worth it because that car is so great. Today, we're going to talk about the GTO. We're going to talk about the original muscle car era. We're going to be showing you the interior. And man, how have things changed over the years on interiors of vehicles from the 60s. Things, interiors on these muscle cars were very utilitarian to today where you've got USB ports and Bluetooth and cup holders and sunroofs and all sorts of things. But today it's a trip back in time to 1967 when at a new, at a Pontiac dealership, you could go out and buy for about $4,000 a 1967 GTO with a 400 HO, that means high output engine, a four speed and posi traction, and man, you were the cat's meow, or the goat's meow. Do goat, I gotta ask PJ now. PJ, do goats meow? I don't think so. No, okay, so the goats, whatever. But before we get into the interior, I want you guys to come back here. And the camera is going to take the lead. We're gonna show you some really cool paperwork that we have with this GTO. Boomer and I have told you before, this car was perfectly restored. You can see here in uh, 2009 that this GTO hard top uh, met the judging standards for Concourse Gold for the GTO of America. And then the Gold Award Senior uh, back in July of 2012. Less than 100 miles on this restoration since that time. Yeah, guys, it's been one of those trailer vehicles. But when you enter to win it, I hope that if you're the winner, you're going to get out there and drive it. Speaking of winners, did you guys watch or see at uh, 1 o'clock uh, today on our Instagram channel, we gave a live feed and we called the winner of the Subaru. Okay, PJ, you're right. I was wrong. It's $3,452.67. I said four grand. That's uh, $548 or $447.33 was actually a whole lot of money back in the day. But today, man, this is all about it. Great GTO and Tyrol Blue, that's code F. Fantastic restoration on here. Black interior. Just remember, they didn't, we didn't have leather interiors back in the day, but we had Morakide. And no baby Morakides were harmed in the making of this vehicle. That's right, PJ? That's right. <laughs> None. None. No, no baby Morakides were harmed at all. And uh, PJ is going to show you a little bit of that interior. And look at that dash, guys. Real typical GTO dash for the first generation from 1964 all the way through 1967. But I know what you guys want to see. You want to see that shifter knob down there, don't you? Four speed, Monsi, four speed. That's what it's all about. Bucket seats up front. No radio. No, no radio. PJ, that is an excellent observation. And you know why? Because this was a radio delete car. So if we come back here and we look on that reproduction window sticker, there's no AM radio on there. So how could that be? You didn't have to get an AM radio. The base model did not come with it. You could opt not to get it. But what that probably means is that this was a special order GTO. Someone knew exactly what they wanted and they ordered it. And that makes a whole lot of sense. So come on, um, I'm going to sit in the car and going to see that we've got nice Pontiac floor mats right here. And this GTO on the inside is really kind of sparsely optioned. And the reason is, is that whoever ordered it originally really went for the performance stuff. So they went for the 400 HO engine. They went for the four speed. They went for the pause attraction. And that was about it. Now there, I think there's two uh, options here in the interior that you might not know. One is the rear defrogger. And I think this um, 
defroster and that makes sense because this GTO is so new in Chicago, Illinois. So of course you want to be able to get the, the ice off of your back window. So that makes sense as well. But they didn't, they cared about power. They didn't care about the AM radio. Other cool stuff here, black shifter ball. Remember we used to joke about the, PJ, we used to joke about the white shifter ball all the time. Yeah, yeah in fact, we've got something. Oh, I can't tell you yet. We got something with a white shifter ball coming up in a few weeks. Oh, there I go, giving away secrets. That's all I'm saying on that, guys. Uh, let's see, if, there you go, Fisher body. That's uh, the plant that the GTO body was made in. In fact, not only the GTO body, but the Chevelles were made in that same plant, and so were the Buick Skylarks, and so were the uh, Oldsmobile uh, Cutlasses. So there you go, nice GTO. Uh, now, nice GTO emblem. I'm going to tell you a story on that. So John DeLorean, of course, was the, um, the chief exec over, over at Pontiac. And depending on what era, he might have been the chief engineer, but it, eventually he became the general manager. And John was really into watching what the Europeans were doing. You know, you might have heard about the, uh, that's why the GTO name came about, because he, uh, he heard about the Ferrari GTO. He said, oh, I'm going to borrow the name and use it for an American car. So at the time, American cars were not using European uh, measurements, in other words, liters instead of cubic inches. So to my knowledge, the GTO is the first American domestic muscle car to use a European or a metric measurement for the displacement of the V8 instead of cubic inches. So 6.5 liter, you'll see it right there. Even the spelling of it is European because John really desired to have the GTO uh, have a European flavor to it. And that's so interesting because we think of it today as the all-American muscle car. But when John was putting together the GTO, he was looking at what they were doing over at Jaguar and what they were doing at, at Mercedes and, and things like that over in Europe. So that's it on the 6.5 liter. One other option here I want to show you guys. Power windows? No, yeah, power window. Here you go. Take the power of your hand and move the window. That's the power window for you. Uh, revo remote mirror here. You can see that mirror move as I move this lever inside here. That had to have been like a $4 option back in the day. Hey, power, che cheaper wonder, than a cup of Starbucks, right? Wonder power steering? Uh, power steering on this, but manual brakes. So no power, no power brakes, or if you look down there, that brake pedal would be a little bit wider and it might say uh, power brakes on there. Lexi wants to know if she can see the Hellcat. Lexi, Lexi, <laughs> get in your motor scooter and get, your, get over to Gainesville, Florida. That's where you can see the Hellcat. It'll be back in here on Monday. Lexi, how far are you from Gainesville? Come on, I'm going to wait for that answer. Any other comments out there? <laughs> yeah, as a matter of fact, Jonathan has a great question about okay. charity. You know, yeah, yeah. Uh, he said, uh, what, are your, uh, what are your guys' favorite dream giveaway charities? And have you ever done any volunteer work with them? And can you share a little about the experience you know, about the charities and stuff? Well, you know what? They're all fantastic charities. So I don't want to pick one over the other ones. There are eight great ones. But I've got to tell you, as I get older, I so appreciate what Mothers Against Drunk Driving is, is doing. And I just hear so many, so many stories about families who are torn apart uh, because of the effects of someone who, who was drinking and driving. So I, I have so much respect uh, for all eight charities, but I do want to give a special shout out today to, to Matt and, and the great work that they're doing out there. Now, Frank says, back when the cars were cars, I think oh, all this computer stuff and cars nowadays, that's what's wrong with them. But believe me, if I had one, I'd drive it like I stole it. Yeah, no, no, you got it mostly right. Drive it like you want it. <laughs> In fact, I'm, I should get all of you guys who are watching me today, I should get you bumper stickers that say, drive it like I want it. Dale says, just throw a boom box in the back seat. There you go. We could do that. Put a boom box in the back. Hey, speaking of which, remember, this is a funny one. How many ashtrays are in the GTO? Hey, let's count them, guys. There's one here. There's one over on the other side. Uh, let's see. There's one in the middle here. Good. No butts in there. <laughs> so there's three. But what's the most number of ashtrays you've ever seen in a classic car? You get into a nice Cadillac from the 60s, there's got to be five or six darn ashtrays in that thing. Ah, 
I'd rather have cup holders, but Gabe that's me. Says he destroyed <laughs> his dad's 66 GT. Oh, no, no. I don't want to hear this story. You destroyed your dad's 66 GT. He would love to oh. take him for a ride in this one. <laughs> there you go, Willa. Hey, that reminds me. Get your entries right now to win the GTO and the Hellcat and all the and the Tesla and all the great cars that we're giving away. It all happens at www.dreamgiveaway.com. If you use promo code Facebook Live, you're going to get bonus tickets. I also want to remind you guys that if you miss your videos here on Facebook, go look for them on YouTube because when we're done doing them live on Facebook, we go post them over on YouTube as well. And you can see the reviews there, all sorts of good stuff there. And I think PJ is also posting these Facebook Live rebroadcasts on the dreamgiveaway.com webpage as well. Is that right, PJ? That's correct. Good, good. Okay, I got time for a couple more questions here. That's it so far. Okay. Oh, Lexi's from Idaho. Idaho, so Idaho to Florida. You can get there by Sunday, Lexi, come on. Just get in the car and go. Is there a cup holder, <laughs> is there a cup holder in the 69 resto? You know, I don't think there is. <laughs> it's an excellent question. I don't think there's a cup holder in the 69 resto. And here's why, because Boomer didn't put a console in there, did he? Now, you see, Boomer's a minimalist. He likes just having that stick shift right there. He doesn't like uh, all these other things. Now, the question is, is there a cup holder in the 61 Resto Mod, the Corvette? And i uh, tell you what, let's go over there and look, and then we're going to wrap it up for today. PJ, let's another shout out to the Subaru. We gave that away today. Uh, and his name, Josh B. from California. Am I correct on that? Uh, Joel. Joel B. from California. There you go. So, Joel, there's your Subaru. It'll be waiting for you. And then tell you what, we'll look here just to see. Yeah, I, guys, Boomer would not put a, put a cup holder in a restaurant. But let's come on over to the Corvette and let's see. Good, there's no cup holder in the Corvette either. But I gotta tell you, this, this Corvette, when we tell you that this vehicle was no expense spared, You've seen it up on the lift. They chromed the, the arms on this. Absolutely freaking amazing. What if we end today with a, now you know what? We're gonna save this for a fire up Friday. Let's show everybody the magazines real quick that all the grand prize cars have been in. Look at there, there's old Brad. Hey Brad, if you're watching, we wanna give away another car with you. Give me a call. And Bert, well, we miss Bert. And then look over here, all the winners since 2008. And listen, guys, I want your photo to be up there. We call it the winner's hangout. Get it? Because they hang from the ceiling. We want your name to be up there. So get your entries right now. Help out those eight great, great charities. When you do, you're already a winner. Every month, we're giving away another car. Every month, we're starting another giveaway. Any other questions? Or I'm going to wrap it for today. That's it. It's easier when Boomer and I go back and forth because then my, I don't get all dry. <laughs> there you go. But I enjoyed having PJ uh, talking a little bit with us here today and, and running the camera for us. That's it for today. I'm out tomorrow, uh, so there won't be a Facebook Live tomorrow unless Boomer does one live from Gainesville. So we'll see you guys again on Monday. More great fun, more great action, more great grand prizes. It only happens here live in the Dream Giveaway Garage. Right, Boomer? Where'd he go?